जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर मोनिका अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर अप्लाइड साइंसेज एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज ए के जे सी माई टूडे इज लेक्चर इज रिलेटेड टू द यूनिट टू ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन सब्जेक्ट कोड के एस थ्री जीरो वन और फोर जीरो वन दिस यूनिट डील्स विद डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेक्निकल रिपोर्ट्स द कंटेंट ऑफ द लेक्चर हैज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल the meaning of the word report and the concept of the report the characteristics types of reports stylistic features of reports and importance of technical reports actually this word report is very common and this word is derived from a latin word reportere reportere means to carry back report something means this is a document which is a description of a past event or some actions carried back to someone who was either not present at that place on the scene or who has asked for that type of documentation of the event which has already taken place so reports are always made of some event or action which has already taken place or which has already started one more thing is that reports are always solicited these documents are prepared only when they are requested for or they are needed and ordered to pre to be prepared by the higher authority so reports making is always a form of upward communication as a student of technical communication you may be knowing what do we mean by upward communication means the communication from the juniors to the seniors to the officers so reports are a form of upward communication this is a formal technical document and now coming to the definition the more precise and concise definition of a report it is a formal document formal which means it has a particular format it has a definite format and it is prepared in a systematic way because it is a systematic account of facts it presents the facts systematically arranged the information that is systematically arranged and this is the information that has been demanded for by an authorized person the senior person your boss or some superior person who wants to make use of that report means reports are always made to be used for further actions for further decisions means the further decisions and actions are made on the basis of the pre the results or the evaluation of the previous actions and the decisions so reports are taken as basic management tool means the authority uses reports as tools to manage things to take further managerial decisions and actions so reports are basic management tools use in decision making and problem solving this is a very very important statement or the sentence about the understanding the uh, role of reports the significance of reports that reports are basic management tool that is why good reports means the reports which are made beautifully completely effectively the the reports earn the attention and respect of the reader means whosoever reads those reports appreciates the skill and the insight and the expertise of the writer if the reports are prepared very beautifully and effectively so technical reports as we know rely on factual information so what is the common way to prepare a report means first of all the person who is authorized or requested for to prepare a report collects the information the facts and then investigates the information and the facts means the person should not believe on a second hand information or some unverified fact the facts should be verified properly investigated into and then scientifically arranged means logically arranged connectively arranged we know that what is the logic behind things so the things are scientifically analyzed and then logically 
supported by arguments means the person who is preparing the report must apply his logic his uh, faculty of reasoning and find out the connection between things and then logically arrange the facts and information and at last the person an expert is expected to give certain recommendations so recommendations may or may not be the part of re reports but the reports which suggest some further improvement or which provide certain uh, expertise or expert opinion about the event or the situation these expert opinions are called recommendation so reports have recommendations reports should be rationally arranged report should be persuasive we know that persuasion is the highest and the most difficult objective to achieve in technical communication so reports are a form of persuasive communication decisive and action center they give certain inferences uh, drawn by the experts the person who is preparing the report and recommendations help in taking further actions that is why we say reports are rational persuasive decisive and action centered and this is so because reports are prepared by experts or committee of experts it may be a single person or a committee of experts any tom dick and harry cannot be asked to prepare a report the person the senior person or the officer who nominates a person or selects uh, some person to prepare a report must be uh, assured of the technical skills the expertise the knowledge the wisdom and the insight of the person who he wants to nominate for preparing the report and such people become experts gradually if they are not for the first time then gradually they become experts and because they have that kind of insight they have that kind of technical and analytical abilities which are required to see into things to investigate things and they have certain level of communication skills the proved level of communication skills to express what they whatever they have understood so these are the skills required for preparing a technical report more things are related to the characteristics of report that reports have definite purpose means what is the purpose of preparing a report determines the form of report or determines the depth and width of the report so definite purpose must be there before uh, preparing a report the purpose may be either spreading of information or just making a kind of uh, document for uh, record or providing guidance to action in the form of recommendation and judgment it may be certain evidence also so these may be the purpose these may be the roles of report providing information or making a kind of documentation of certain things providing recommendation for actions and judgment because we know that reports are essential managerial tool and decision making tool so it should be prepared in a proper form a format that form or format can be discussed in a, in a, uh, later because that has a very uh, lengthy and very minute uh, details so every report has proper format and proper style depending upon the purpose because purpose determines the format and the style okay reports are addressed to some definite readers and the readers we know who is going to read the reports then only we will be able to prepare a proper report and if the reports are to be are meant for circulation either exclusively means to some particular individual or a group of individuals so what is the level of the, that group of individuals we should know or uh, throughout the organization every person of that organization is going to read the report or it is going to be made public so this this level or this uh, you can say the target audience determines the quality or the stylistic features of a reports one more thing that reports have bearing on time means when the reports are prepared they are uh, 
relevant to that point of time or to certain extent of time but after some time reports may become outdated they become may become obsolete so reports have bearing on time means uh, in what duration or for what duration reports are made recommendations are made those recommendations and those observations may become obsolete with time that is what is meant by bearing on time now coming to the types of report i hope that you understand what are reports reports are very significant because they uh, documentize uh, whatever is done by the people now coming to the types of reports the types of report depend upon various reference points first of all on the basis of format means what is the format of the report and this is a very basic thing on the basis of the format we find letter reports means the reports which are made in and sent in form of a letter means one to one a very short very brief uh, the whole uh, ramification of that report is like a letter we know that what is the ramification memo report are for internal circulation in an organization and they have a very very brief body a very one or two paragraphs just small and without any uh, much formality we know what are memos memos don't have addresses uh, like inside address or sender address it does just have a direct salutation and the content then comes long technical reports which has three parts the introductory part the main body and the back matter it is a very lengthy and a full uh, fully formal uh, type of reports which are made of projects different uh, which are made for cert certain survey or inspection. So, these are the long reports and one is blank format report. Blank form report as the students, as a student you must have filled some admission form that is your reporting form, form for, to report to your institution. So, we have these types of blank format uh, which have uh, certain uh, fixed particulars, they ask for certain particulars and the person has to fill those particulars on the basis of function we have two types of reports informative report and interpretive reports informative report as the word suggests just provide the information and most probably we do not have recommendations here in the informative report because this is just uh, the purpose is just to give provide certain information to the authority next is interpretive reports always prepared by expert people who have a keen insight, who have technical expertise, they have uh, different capabilities to analyze the success or the results and uh, make references and inference which is taken to uh, give recommendations as the conclusion, right. So, they are serious types of report. On the basis of nature of the report means what is basically the purpose of preparing reports we have a variety of reports like progress evaluation report as the students have in for their academic progress and as well as any other project or any other uh, plan is going on so uh, people uh, evaluate the progress of that thing the survey report the inspection report the performance appraisal report the confidential reports we all must have heard these types of phrases and these types of terms in our life right project report means the project is uh, has to be uh, carried out in a particular way and the reports are made that whether the project is going on properly or not audit report this is important audit uh, is of two types first is financial audit means the documents the documentation and the accounts related to the financial matters audit means uh, some expert or the team of experts uh, analyzes and evaluates whether the uh, record and the documentation is proper and everything is okay. Audit are also done for different documents, other types of document as in, uh, in every organization everything is uh, documentized as in academic organizations, the attendance of the student, the, the progress of the student, the, the number of the people in the particular class, all these things are properly documentized. So, audit is done to find and check and ensure whether the documentation is proper or not. Uh, 
we have these feasibility reports. Feasibility means the possibility of being successful or the possibility of being uh, applied or implied. Okay, so whenever some new plan is uh, prepared or some uh, some some new product is to be launched, we the people expert people uh, made make a kind of investigation and they they guess or they um, want to find out on the basis of facts and information whether this plan is going to be successful or not. This is called feasibility report and newspaper reports, the reports which are made to be printed, to be published through uh, mass media, electronic media or print media. So, such uh, press releases or newspaper reports have a different viewpoint. They, they, and the, they include only those points which are relevant and which are points of interest for common people, for public, right. So, these are the various types of reports. Some of them are I have uh, mentioned here, but uh, for every different purpose, we have a different uh, nature of the report. Now, coming to the stylistic features of report writing, because this topic is part of a uh, technical communication subject and the unit which says the forms of technical documents. So, as a professional, people uh, uh, have to prepare. Uh, reports for one or the other reason, right? Writing a report is not an easy task. So, from the point of view of the written communication, while preparing a report, there are certain points which are to be kept in mind and these are called stylistic features of report writing. The very first point is language adaptation. Language, whatever language we have chosen, we are not talking about Lang the names of language, we are talking about the quality of language, the form of language. Whatever language a professional is using, for example, English language, the choice of words, the framing of sentences should be simple and there is no question to be uh, inaccurate, means grammatical accuracy is always needed. It should be accurate, correct, all the facts and information should be correct. We should use right words, we should make right sentences without any error, no grammatical error. Okay, And the simple and the correct language should be uh, ascertained according to the level of the audience. Means the choice of words and the expression should be audience centered and we know that if we categorize our audience, we find generally three categories of uh, our audience in technical uh, field. First are experts which are highly uh, technically strong, they are experts, other may be a group of people who are not so technically strong, but they are basically executives, they are the people of, uh, who take care of the administration and the management. And the third category is of non-specialist people who are neither experts who are nor, uh, nor uh, the administrators or executives, they are lay people or they may be our customers, they may be general public. So, we have to decide that what is our target audience, then accordingly we have to uh, adapt our language. Next is the logical arrangement, whatever facts, whatever information we have gathered, we should uh, arrange it scientifically, analyze after uh, scientific analysis and the information should be arranged and divided. So, divisions of, uh, should be made according to the category of information. We know that we are various uh, point of view to look at things. So, whatever information we uh, collect, we have to make proper divisions, subdivisions of the chapters and paragraphs. This is called logical arrangement. Things should be logically connected in chapters or uh, a subdivision of chapters and ch paragraphs. Third thing is objective presentation. This word objective is very important, is very, very relevant and mandatory in technical communication. Whatever we communicate, it should be objectively seen, objectively analyzed and objectively presented. In reports, the objective presentation is ascertained with the help of tables, graphs, charts and other uh, visual uh, illustrations or statistical 
illustration. We can make use of different uh, visual uh, illustrations like graphs na, to show the uh, distribution. We can show use pie chart. So, we have variety of these visual uh, aids to give an objective presentation and we know that this is the must have quality of all technical communication, especially written communication. Then comes technical terminology. It is also a must have quality or the feature of technical communication that reports should have a proper use of jargons. Jargons are the technical terms in that particular field. In whatever field or in whatever field of knowledge we are making a report of something, we should use proper jargons and this the propriety of the use of jargon depends upon the category of the audience. We know that. Next is moderate sentence length. We have to prepare a report. If it is to be prepared for highly expert people, then also the level of complexity should be controlled and the sentence length should be moderate. And if, if, if we, we make bigger sentences, lengthier sentences, it will be slightly more difficult to be read and understood by people. Okay? So, generally it is a golden rule that we should have uh, a moderate uh, level of complexity and the length of sentences. So, bigger sentences should be broken into short but complete sentences. Next is logical division of paragraphs. Paragraphing is also a very logical act. We know that According to the oneness of thought, the unity of thought point, we make different paragraphs. So, this here also we have to follow this and this is a rule to be followed in every technical writing and here also because this is a going, this is going to be a lengthier document, then we should not forget this rule that there should be logical division of paragraph and the logic is the oneness of thought. Next is unity and coherence. We know that uh, there should be unity of thought in the expression and there should be an organic flow of expression. This is what is called coherence and you have, you must have read, you must have understood what do we mean by coherence that uh, there should be a flow and the sentences and the ideas should be properly connected with the previous sentence or ideas or the coming sentence or idea that we, is meant by coherence here. Next is viewpoint and time and this is one of the unique feature of a report writing slightly different from other types of technical report because in other type of technical documents you may be finding these other features, the stylistic features but this is unique. This is unique because this is going to be a kind of uh, uh, impersonal presentation, okay. This is going to be a kind of presentation or narration description for the other person. So, it is suggested that the writer should maintain the third person point of view means the person should not get involved in the whole uh, description of the proceedings or the narration. He should adopt a third person point of view neither first person or second person. He should be uh, taking the role of an omniscient or uh, taking the role of an observer, a silent observer and analyzer. So, the third person point of view to present things should be followed. Next thing is that past tense in uh, language should be maintained for reporting past events which have already taken place. But if you are reporting some ongoing process, you can maintain the present tense because it is the ongoing process. So, you can use this tense, but the process or the event which has already taken place just over, you have to use past tense and we have to maintain the consistency of this tense. We should not make mistakes in uh, maintaining this consistency. Then comes ordering. Ordering means how to order things, okay, how to arrange things and whenever we talk about ordering, in writing or uh, organizing certain content, we are very well aware of the two types of ordering, inductive order and deductive order. Here also it applies inductive order as we know in general paragraphing, inductive order has the uh, topic sentence at the end. So, here what does it mean? That in the whole body of the report, we should follow the straight order means first of all the introduction, the general 
uh, introduction of uh, the ref, uh, the context and the things then comes the discussion means whatever facts and information has been have been uh, collected or analyzed we should give that uh, thing means first of investigation after interpretation then evaluation and at last comes the conclusion the findings the inferences which lead towards recommendation so we have this straight uh, linear pattern starting with casually with introduction then coming to the facts and information the discussion inferences and conclusion so this type of ordering is used for casual reports casual reports which are general reports which are prepared as a routine report okay but for urgent reports means some reports which are special reports or urgent reports generally deductive order is suggested to be followed deductive order means whatever conclusion inference or recommendation the expert or the writer of the uh, report wants to put forth it should be given in the beginning because the reader is more interested in finding out the conclusions and the recommendation made by the person who has prepared the report so it comes first then comes discussion and that is important to give more attention and to save time of the reader so this type of ordering is good for the reports which are of urgent nature or special reports next is the understanding of importance of technical we why we talk about reports reports every time but what is the significance of technical reports it is very very important and there it has uh, a very uh, you can say deep rooted significance in the functioning of the whole organization because reports make a record of all the type of professional advancement means all the efforts of a professional of a person who is working in an organization in whatever capacity or on whatever post the efforts of that person culminate in the form of reports so these reports are very crucial very important and very very cautiously should be very very cautiously made so because they become a record of professional advancement or achievement so whatever a person does whatever the institution does whatever the organization does culminates in the form of a report so that is the utmost significance of report okay reports have legal responsibility reports are formal official documentation made by experts or the committee of experts at the behest of the uh, authority and they are taken as the record so they are official do documents and they can be used as legal instrument whenever some legal battle is there or some legal issues are there reports can be presented as legal evidence and they have this legal bearing legal responsibility reports are decision making tools we already know that the further decision the future decisions and the management managerial actions are made on the basis of the amount of success or the you can say the uh, the uh, reading of the failures and the you can say uh, the weaknesses which have been noticed in the previous actions so reports provide the required information they provide help in important decisions in business and people the managers the administrators take decisions on the basis of the information and the recommendation present in the reports so that is why reports are taken as a decision making tools important for managers and administrators they are managerial tools along with helping and taking decisions they help in planning organizing coordinating motivating and controlling things the managers need help from the reports and these reports become a source of information for managers so for further planning organizing things the previous actions are judged with the help of reports 
रिपोर्ट्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट्स आर सिग्निफिकेंट सिग्निफिकेंट बिकॉज दे आर अनबायस्ड दे आर न्यूट्रल ठीक इम्पर्सनल गुड टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन इज ऑलवेज इम्पर्सनल बिकॉज फैक्ट्स आर कलेक्टेड फैक्ट्स आर एनालाइज सो एंड प्रेजेंटेड इंफॉर्मेशन इज प्रेजेंटेड इन अ न्यूट्रल वे इन द राइटर ऑफ द रिपोर्ट is unbiased should be unbiased and it the presentation comes only after proper investigation and interpretation evaluation of all the facts independently and the presentation is through graphs charts numbers tables so this is impersonal and this illustration helps in every person understanding things and this makes the reports more reliable reports are evaluation tool as i have said earlier in the beginning of uh, uh, this uh, lecture uh, the importance of discussing the importance of technical reports that all the efforts of people the executives the uh, you can say the organization the uh, the people who are responsible for the growth of organization all the efforts culminate in the form of a report so reports help in measuring of growth and success of an organization and this is done through the executive so everything the measuring of growth and success of an organization and the people working in that organization depends on reports is culminated is is held in reports so reports are tools to evaluate the performance of various departments various organizations so how a organization is doing in market profitably or unprofitably or in uh, what is the rate of uh, growth everything is uh, evaluated with the help of reports so reports are evaluation tool they are problem solving tool because finding out the reason of certain failure of uh, behind the problem and that report presents all the inferences okay and the report may have the recommendation or may not have the recommendation but every report has an analysis of the situation and the reasons behind if certain failure has been faced so for further actions for further solving of certain further problem they are tools reports also help in controlling activities like um, the what to control what to do what not to do okay uh, which which aspect is to be uh, supported or which field should be taken care of these are the things are done with the help of reports and in this way reports help as a work as a valuable store of information because all the reports important reports are preserved for a long time and they can be referred in future so reports are the valuable store of information for further future reference for various reasons and the last point that i must recommend you to give extra attention to is skill enhancement or skill development we know that reports are made by experts for the first time when a person is writing a report he or she may not be taken as an expert but has some capability which are noticed by the officer or the superior person the boss okay so reports need or further develop the power of the various mental abilities like power of selection means you have to select the relevant facts and information then you have to organize those facts and information then you have to interpret those facts and information coordinate and find the connection that uh, the that inside that research ability is exercised and then you have to take judgments you have to make inferences and at last you have to make recommendations so this these are various aspects of the mental capacity as well as the communication ability of the person so the more you write reports the more expert you become so writing reports needs these powers along with communication skills and also supports and uh, enhances these powers and that is how a person becomes an expert and can uh, can rise on the ladder of the success in an organization 
So, to conclude my lecture, I would like to emphasize on the three basic points of taking reports or technical reports as instrumental. So, technical reports are instrumental in knowing and judging, three things, knowing and judging. First, the execution of the work, whatever work is done according to the planning or according to the decision of the organization, the what, what is the level of execution or whether it is executed properly or not. Next, the efficiency of the method, the people who are responsible for the execution of the work, what is the level of efficiency? Because if the uh, results are good, if the outcome is good, the people who are involved for the execution of that work are more efficient. If not so good, they are less efficient. And the third thing is the usability of the reported facts and recommendation. The, and that depends upon the uh, expertise and the skill of the report writer. The writer's skill and ability that is also judged means if you prepare a good report, as I have said earlier, good report earns respect and attention of the reader and this enhances the stature and the value of the professional in the organization. So, the writer's skills and abilities are also uh, uh, seen and judged by the type of report or the level of the quality of the report which he or she has prepared. So, that is why technical reports are important and every professional has to, uh, to understand the significance and the value of these reports. Thank you. I hope you have understood the, the content and the topic. Thank you. Jai.